That's a Rolls Royce, Brandy. Like I don't know. Oh, there's something over there too. Hope, what is that? Is that an old gas can? Will it start, Brandy? Yeah, sure. <laughs> About like the bus. Okay, we got a fun, exciting video to show you guys today. Brandy and Hope and Hadley are out here exploring the woods with me. We found some very old pickup trucks and cars and some other things hidden away, stashed away in the woods here on our new property. Let's check it out. Do you see one? Oh yeah, the Wait, deer are eating this. This is like, where the deer were on camera though. Yeah, right there. look at that. That's just a mineral that we found over there in that box. What? And we, it's just oh. a mineral. And I got a camera up here facing this way, facing the bus and all that. And within like four hours of putting that out, deer were already eating it. Isn't that crazy? Huh? Yeah. We're at the Bandon Creek property and we're going to show you guys something cool we found in the woods. Um, I've pretty much after we closed, we were driving down the road and looked over and I was like, what is that? Um, so right now we're going to walk down to the creek. The girls have got to walk down here and Brandy haven't got to see the water, water up. I think it's went down since I came out here last, but it's still up a little bit. We want to check that one spring that's coming out of the ground. I want to see if it's receded yet. We're still coming out. But, what does it say hope was here? I think you wrote that. Hey, be careful with this hope. So we've been getting a lot of comments about the last video we posted. I think, was it with about the bear, Brandy? The last video about the bear? Yeah. So the last video we posted was um, with the bear uh, tree scratching. A lot of people are saying it's woodpecker, it's just a little rug or something. I feel like it was about equal. A lot said bear. Yeah, a lot of, of y'all said bear for sure. A lot of y'all said woodpecker. I think pretty much a big zero on the woodpecker because there are woodpeckers out here and those holes, the woodpecker are literally holes. They're not the whole tree like that. So. I'm like 100% positive it's a bear. We found the bear poop like 100 yards from there. Then we found that. Um, so I did set the camera. Huh? If you Google a picture, yeah. what it looks exactly yeah, like. Yeah, and I showed, some of y'all may not seen the picture I actually put up on screen with it um, of the bear pole, scratch pole, whatever, but it's a bear. And we set that camera up. We're going to check it in a few days. Um, I got some um, bear bait coming in. I'm not trying to trap it or anything like that. I just want to see if I can get some pictures of it. Um, but I think 100% it's a black bear. Brandy, we need that for all the baby chicks you're getting. Yeah. I don't know how I would get that home. Maybe upright on my trailer. So we just have Hope and Hadley with us today. Hayden wanted to stay home. And um, she doesn't stay home by herself for often, does she, Brandy? She has like twice. Like twice ever. And Brandy had her halfway nervous. Uh, but we got security cameras up that we could check and all that. And uh, she, hasn't, she hasn't called us yet. An old uh, deer blind. So we're going to look at this little spring first. You guys remember this, this is the spring that... Gabby jumped in and was like trying to get out, but the creek has went down almost to normal, it looks like. Where is it? Okay. Oh. Standing on the ground? Hello, Hadley. Hi. Don't fall, Brandy. Well, how about her? Huh? Go up there, right there. Camp right there. Do this right? Yeah. Well, it's you guys first. You can see the, the hole where the spring's at. Bernie's just keeping it country. Yee yee. Yep. <laughs> where are Right there. Oh, that's, that's where Gabby was swimming. Yes, I told you in the video, what? I said it's going to get deep. Good job. Yeah. Have you seen it empty before? Uh, we only seen it like three times, and there's water There's water in it all, all the times we've seen it. But yeah, that's where Gabby, I said, is going to. Yes. Oh my goodness. The hole looks a little bit bigger now, too. Yeah, so the spring. Water. So she, she went boo. Yeah, she went in right here walking, and then I said, it's about to get deep on her. See, that almost, to me, this looks like they, someone might have dug it out some, and they maybe it was stacked up some rocks up underneath that. What's it look like but to you? It kind of does look artificially there. It's like they may have been using this for like, old homestead, too. Okay. Remember you said. Where were those daffodils? Just right up there. Yeah. We want to walk over and look at them in a minute? Well, we might have there? to do a. Um, What's it called? Metal detecting. Yeah, over yeah. There. But yeah, there's the. Here, Hadley, you can take it down there and film that. Kind of made their own little. But that's where the spring's at. It oh, almost looks like it's been dug out. out. It just stays there. Where is there's an alligator in there? That'd be crazy. Hope you feel it and see how cold it is. It's pretty cold. See how crystal clear that is? Yeah. 
it's not muddy and anything like that from the runoff is coming down. Here. We could. We didn't no. bring it. You gonna fill it, Hadley? Yeah. See how deep that was, though, Brandy? Yeah. I had no clue that's where she went in at. Oh, is it pretty cold? But to me, it looks like it's been dug out right here. Like this has been this been here forever. I don't know. It's just pretty neat. That could have been placed there. Yeah, or that rock could be right there. So the daffodils. 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 Um, let's go look at them. And a lot of people, y'all, were saying that that's where an old home site could have been. And this this is old Cherokee um, allotted land. So 100%, there could have been old home site up there. So let's go up there and look around a little bit. Just go up that way and follow that fence row and you'll run right into it. Ow. What? I was up for thorns. Just step on them, girls. Just step down on them. Here's an old barrel of some sort. There is a big hole right there, Brandy. It could have been. I thought I saw some yellow up there. But then here's these. Yeah. I think there's more up there. Is there? So, I mean, this is an old, this could be. What is this? Yeah, that could be old foundation. They use rock. Look how it's a hole right here. That could have been. That rock too. Yeah, this definitely could have been old home site, and they could have had like a root cellar right here underneath the house or cabin, whatever. Um, we'll have to do some more exploring. But yeah, there's a lot of these. Could be rocks that they used. Yeah. Well, see, and there's some metal. There's old. See, there's old nest over there. Hold on, let's just right here. There's more stuff. So for sure, this could have been the old home site, like the original home site. What do you guys think about this just indention right here? Cool. You can pick that if you want, have it, Elby. Oh, it's got the whole bulb on it. Oh, you can take that home and clean yeah. it. I would say this is a pretty good indication. Something going on down here. See this stuff, Randy? Pretty. You like that? Yeah. Huh, that's interesting. I thought I saw more of these up there. There may be. So I know a lot of old home sites that we've seen when I was working for the state, um, like the original home sites, would have big um, holes like that um, just because for underneath the house and stuff. I mean, that definitely could be. There's no telling. Yeah. So we'll go check out the creek. Um, just look at, show them real quick make our way up to the dis the discovery that we found in the woods it's some old 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 stuff it's some old trucks we got some old trucks up there i think from the 40s and it is pretty they're pretty cool so we'll walk up there in just a second where you see these leaves yeah but was it all the way up here yeah where you see all these leaves at that's where the water went to all through here it's crazy it went down that path yeah if you guys watched some of the other videos you would have seen that this there was a, a beaver dam right there it's gone it's washed away but there's still a good swimming hole right over there. It's pretty deep along the edge. I was hoping to wash them trees up, clean that up a little bit. So the water is up a little bit still. I think before we can go to the edge right there, and there's a, that hole looks bigger now. This looks like a lot deeper right here now, Brandy. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah, it's way deeper than it was. It's gone. It's gone. Oh, look at it. Hey, I see some metal stuff over here. Let's see what that is. No, but that's got the same kind of good shape. Cool. That's cool. Like, like where'd that come from? Yeah. That's kind of what we're going to show you some stuff we got up there, but it's like you just never know what's going to wash up. This could have been buried in here, and then just the water had like moved yeah, over. What it. if it was buried up there and it's washed down? It could have. Okay, try it. Hold on. Go. Nope. nope. Kerplunk. Yeah. This is deep. Is that deep right there? Yeah. Good job. Good job. This is really deep. Feel how smooth this is. Hmm? Hi, Chef. That's it. That might be seven eight foot right there Here, see before it was just right underneath that tree uh tree root ball now that the the flood has washed it all it's a really good swimming hole so if it doesn't flood between now and time to swim that'll be good yeah. what if they get 
gets higher and higher. It goes all the way up here. Good. This all this has just got deeper since that flood. All the gravel has moved up. See how shallow right there, Brandy? That yeah, wasn't that shallow there. It. it changed. It changed it. That's cool. All right, let's go look at the old trucks. I'm gonna jump in right now. It's too cold for that. Okay, I'm okay. Do what? We're about to pass out. <laughs> You're about to pass out. Y'all come this way. It's a shortcut. Hey, what did mom find? A tick. Now you feel like they're all over you? So Brandy found the first tick in February. And I hope he thinks that they're crawling all over her. She's like, oh no, you're itching now? <laughs> so I'm going to tell you how bad the ticks will be out here come springtime. Um, it's going to be bad because there's so much wildlife out here. Bears, deer, possible mountain lion, bobcat. I mean, just a little bit of everything you can think of. So right up here, there's like an old frame and some other stuff. Um, we'll show you guys this first. And then we're gonna walk over and check out those um, couple old trucks, and then there's an old car. I brought my friend up here, um, my crazy neighbor friend came up here with me, and he, so I think he said they're 1945 Dodges, the two pickups, but he didn't know what this car was. But I know some of you guys that are watching this will probably know. But let's check this stuff out first. There's an old hood of some sort, I'm guessing. These snakes. See? There's a nest under there. Some sort of nest? Yeah. Oh, what is that? Right there. And then you see a bunch of these old um, bottles, old uh, jars. Brandy, there's some more of them daffodils. Huh? More of those daffodils. Oh, yeah, a few of them. Oh, yeah. Some right there. Another tick? Storm. Oh. What's this? It's an old dump spot where um, people dump stuff. And there could have been an old home site on this area too. It's just hard to say. Um, but there's an old frame right here. I'm not sure what it what it is at all. Look at that. What is that? I don't know. What do you guys think that is? Like something in the bottom of a car or something? Yeah, possibly an old truck or something. There's a pipe going through there. I don't know. And there's some D rings. There's a ring right here. That's not a D ring, but there's a ring. I don't know. Is that a is that the tailpipe? Was it an old frame to old truck or something? It'd be pretty big. You found a sword? Uh oh. There could be all kinds of stuff buried up here. Yeah. What is it? I don't know. Off, of off the vehicle. Wow, I hope it's not stab you in the stomach. I know. How are you going to slip and cut your finger? Piece of trim off the car. Just push it down. It's like an old gas tank. And then, what we, what do we think this was, Brandy? An old oven? It's got drawers. I don't know what this is. What is this? On top of it. Let's go with the trucks now. Okay. Huh? You haven't seen these yet? Come on. All right, Hope wants to make a thumbnail for us. What are you gonna do, Hope? Okay. Get a couple options. <laughs> is that your thumbnail? Okay, <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> but check this out. This is a discovery we didn't even know about until after we closed on the property. I was like, that is awesome. We out those uh, my buddy Kevin said they're 1945 Dodges pickups, and he didn't know what this was. So let me show you guys these. This is quite the find um, on this property. These have probably been abandoned for 50, 60 years, maybe longer. Um, I know one of the tags actually says from the 60s. In the 60s. And so, isn't this kind of the road right yeah, here? Yeah, yep, there's an old road right here and it goes all the way to where we were just at. Do we show um, the inside? We'll go over there and look at that it. That one's more like a car style. Yeah, and it's like flipped over upside down. So yeah. to me, I imagine when they brought these up here, maybe it was on a trailer and just fell off and flipped over on the side. Let's take a look at it. I'm thinking there's like moonshine. I know, or some old gold coins or something. Oh, yeah. I've been over 
Yeah. yeah. So I have no idea what this is. Let's go to the front so you car people can tell us. Yeah, but there's an old, this will give someone headlights and, but that emblem right there, what is that? A Rolls, that that's a Rolls Royce, Brandy. Like I don't know. I don't have my phone, I'll take a picture of it. But look, upside down. That's what it looks like. That's the front. The hood's right there. I think the other one is the frame of a truck or something. I don't know. It might have been since there's two old it's trucks over here. Snake under the... Yeah, maybe. Those look like tow mater kind of. I know. From the cars just... So what do you guys think this is? Because uh -huh. I have no idea. Okay, then there's this old stove. I think that's what was over there too. There's like three of those. Don't that fall. Drop that rattlesnake. <laughs> so these, Kevin said, they were 1945 or 42 Dodge pickups. And he said that one could be restored. And probably this one if you wanted to take the time and money. Brandy, it would be cool to restore one of these. Hey, man, how we can have our first vehicle. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'll take it in. So if anyone out there restores old vehicles and you want to restore this for us, email me at keepitdutch at yahoo.com. <laughs> See that old frame over there? There's no way it's an old truck. Because look how skinny this frame is, Brandy. Yeah. That's it's little. It's oh, there's something over there too. What is that? Is that an old gas can? The lock. Mhm. Mm yeah, the windows are all busted out, but. Will it start, Brandy? Yeah, sure. <laughs> About like the bus. The old gas, that gas tank. Crazy, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's like a ball. All right, now check this out. I think this one looks. This one's got more to it. It's got the sides and stuff still. I think this is a heck of a find, honestly. I think it's cool. Hallie, could you see yourself driving this one day? Yeah. That'd be cool, huh? Yeah. Isn't this neat? Be tons and tons of work for sure. Headlights are gone. Yeah. Everything's gone. The mother, there's no motor. Watch oh, your finger, babe. There's no motor, obviously, in here. That's probably the motor over there. That'd be a good little hidey hole. If, you're, if a trespasser is running from the wall, just jump on in there. Watch your fingers. Okay. It's a dodge. Mm hmm. This is neat. You know how you, oh, if I have my phone, I'll take a picture oh. of you guys on there. You know what? Over there, that part we lifted up. Looks like is that. Is something like that? Probably. Like metal. Yeah, probably. Is that a little windshield wiper? Yeah, two of them. There's something right here. I don't know what that is. It that might be nothing. No, it might like be nothing. Air. Yeah. We'll walk over here. But my buddy said this can definitely be restored. This is like the back of it. Huh? Yeah. Holly says she can see herself driving this one day, Brandy. Yeah. Driving on up to school, her and Hayden. <laughs> and me. Isn't that cool, Hope? Yeah. Hadley? So the back would have had springs. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, it's just kind of a little cushion. Yeah, it was a cushion. What's the odometer say? 1,500 original miles. <laughs> It says it goes up to 80 miles an hour, Hadley, or it did at one time. Probably. Isn't that neat, Hope? Oh, yeah. That's cool. Like, this is like broken off. Hey, was that up there? Do we grab it? No. Steering wheel. Oh. And there's like. Hadley, you got a lot of work to get this ready time you turn 16. Is this a lock? Or the window? It's the window open, like a side window open. And people are just like, what is Hadley doing at the <laughs> there? There's a. All right, we can walk back over there now, I guess. It's in your boot. Tick? I mean, I feel ticks all over me, Hopi. Me too. I mean, everywhere. I'm serious. <laughs> we had the first one in February. Yep, Randy found her first tick. I don't and see none. pretty big. Mm-hmm. So leave me some comments. Is Kevin right? Is this a 1940? I think he said 45 or 42. I think he said 45. Dodge pickup truck. Two of them. 
identical. But yeah, they look the same. They look the same to me. I want I want to know what that car is because Kevin's really really good at old cars and he didn't know what that was. So I was kind of surprised. Yeah, he looked it all over. Yeah, we walked out here. I would like to. Um, huh? I, I would like to drive this. Someday. Would you really? Yeah. I can see you driving that with your leather jacket. Probably. Yeah. No, I'll sleep there. I want you getting hurt. So my grandma grew up in this area um, back in the 30s and 40s, 50s, and she used to tell us stories about how her um, dad and uncle were some of the biggest bootleggers in this area. Um, they owned a couple taverns or bars down in Spavin, Oklahoma, um, back during the Prohibition. And um, they used to, she used to tell her, her dad and, and um, uncle used to make cars and trucks and soup them up. I think that's how NASCAR got started, but her, that's what her um, family used to do. That's how they made a living back in the day, a really good living too, whenever it was that time. Um, so that's really, it was really interesting hearing all those stories growing up. And then when I find, we found these old trucks that, that instantly brought her to mind. So here. I don't know if you already said it. But like Mickey Mantle? Yeah, Did Mickey Mantle. Yeah, because Mickey Mantle was from Spavanol and he would go drink at the bar and all mm -hmm. that stuff and throw baseballs out to the kids. Yeah. So here's the tag. Here, don't take it off the there, but here's the tag. Oklahoma in 1964 is the last time this was. What's it look like? DL2656? It's Oklahoma. 64. I don't mm -hmm. know how that was done. You know, now we have the little stickers. Yeah. So do you just get it once? I don't know. Wait, 64 Street. Nine, no, 60 the year. 1994. Yep. DL2656. We need to look it up. So I hope you guys found this video interesting. Um, I thought it'd be fun to show you guys this. Um, stay tuned. In the next video, too, we're going to give you guys a house update. We've been getting a lot done on the house. Um, we've just been busy out here exploring and showing you guys this. And it seems to us that you guys are super interested in the exploring, like just like we are. Y'all are seeing a lot of this stuff for the first time um, with us. Not this particular, but the waterfall, all that. First time. It's so crazy. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. And we're not going to be able to explore once there's ticks and snakes Heck no. everywhere. Nope. So we're like, might as well do it now. All right. We'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.